off with the colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Currently at FedEx. You're on the printer right now. We are getting Halloween invitations printed. Oh, that's cute. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, so now I have to do 50 of these. <laughs> so I emailed it to them. I also have the hard copy that I printed at home and laminated. So now I need to print another, and that one. Just doing it, this is quite easy. We're gonna do, can I just type in 50? We are going to do 50 copies of this. We need 200. So four times 50, 200. Yes. So, $37, yep. I'm gonna get reimbursed for that <laughs> from the church. Print, print, sweet. I could cut them here. Maybe that would be easy. I have a cutter at home, but if I have this print cutter right here, hmm, I could get this done. Anyway, I am working, um, I am the new um, activities director, co-chair with one other person, and we have a new committee that's getting assigned to us. I just submitted names. Um, these are all volunteer things for church, by the way. Um, but we don't have a committee yet. <laughs> so it's just up to the two of us to do this Halloween party. It's just a trunk or treat carnival type party. So maybe this is too noisy. But um, I'm not actually going to be able to be at the activity. So I'm trying to do as much of the work ahead of time as I can. So she's gonna have, I'll help set up. Then I have to leave to take Ashley to cheer. So it's a carnival and a trunk or treat in the parking lot. So, um, anyway, just getting these all printed and I'm gonna get them all cut. I'm gonna let her know, my other co-chair know, that I've got this done. And then we're gonna go to cheer and it's an hour away. So that's fantastic. If there's one thing the Northwest does well, it's fall. Because <laughs> you still have green, but look at the color. It'll be the perfect fall day, okay, I'll go. to go to a football game though. Um, this row of trees is what I'm waiting for it to turn. That one is like my favorite. Um, but we're gonna go to a football game. It's, it's literally 45 minutes away, and I don't know how our district, I don't know how we're that far. We're not that far. <laughs> so I don't understand how we're having a game that far away. So um, I just had to go and make sure Ashley is fully fed. Um, she won't be having hot issues, um, but they aren't going to have the girls wear like leggings. Um, underneath their cheer uniform. They are gonna wear their white mocks that are long sleeves. So at least that will be warm. It's not terribly cold, it's 60 degrees, and it's not gonna rain until right after the game is over. Um, and so I think we'll be good on her not being too cold, but I told her she can take breaks and come up to me. I will have my little um, stadium blanket that she can um, sit under really quick to kind of warm up her legs. Um, but it shouldn't be too bad yet. Fingers crossed. They just they made a rule flat out at the beginning of this cheer session that they weren't gonna do any leggings because they didn't wanna like try and make sure that everyone had the same ones and they like everyone to be uniform. And they didn't have like like uniform, actually like order everyone the same one. They didn't have any anything like that in their you know, ordering capabilities. So they just get to be cold, <laughs> but should be fine. So I'm gonna run home. I literally don't even have an hour now, um, but I'm still trying to coordinate this activity because it's in like, I think it's like 10 days or something. But they called me to do this um, activity itself 
days before we went to Utah to my sister's baby shower. And I was like, I can't wrap my head around it. And it was just me at the time. And then they called someone else to help me days before she went to Idaho and a mere week before we went to Hawaii. <laughs> I was like, and she was like, Dina, I can't, I can't even think about this activity until I get back from my trip. And I was like, girl, I got you. I can't even think about it until I get back either. Everyone's just going to have to deal with not having cute little, you know, invitations printed out ahead of time. We haven't even been at church because we've had two conferences back to back for two, the past two weeks. So it's like we haven't even been in church. So it should be fine. Um, we're going to hand out those flyers at church tomorrow. Um, we're just trying to coordinate the carnival side of it. Who's in charge of what? So that's what all these messages <laughs> coming through my, my car are, are from her. But you know what? I have, I have to say this. It's really refreshing. I'm, I'm in charge of activities quite often. Um, I've done it for the women. I've done it for little kids. And I've done it for um, now for all the, the entire congregation is what I'm in charge of now for activities. <sighs> Um, it's rare to find someone who like, and I, I've loved everyone that I've worked for in the past, but a lot of them just kind of, I'm, they, they take delegation very well. They're like, just tell me what to do and I will go do it. And <laughs> this person I'm working with, she's my co-chair. Oh my gosh, she's fantastic. She has a mind like mine and she thinks further out she thinks about details she she's a good planner she's a good organizer she chef's kiss chef's kiss right now <laughs> to have someone who just like we just ping pong off of each other okay that's a great idea that's a great idea that's a great idea okay I'm gonna do this you're gonna do that and it just works so well it just works so well and we have to plan as soon as this activity is done we have to plan the Christmas party for the entire congregation and I, it's gonna be like 400 people. So it's like, I just wanna hurry and get this one done. <laughs> so we can start planning um, Christmas and I don't even have a committee. And likely I won't even be at that activity either because Abby will be in the hospital having surgery. <laughs> and I told the leaders this and I was like, just so you know, you called someone who actually can't do the next two or three activities in person. I can plan it, I can delegate, but I won't actually be there. <laughs> I don't know yet though. We'll find out. This is her, she spends all of her time online with friends that aren't even on the, on the photo. Say hi, Mabel. Hi, say hi. <laughs> um, I know I could do laundry. No, I actually don't have a full load. I have gotten caught up. These are just towels that are in here. I'm gonna fold those later. Did you find your shorts, Ashley? Huh? Did you find your shorts? Uh, this is yeah. like her permanent like drawer. She doesn't ever put it away. She uses it and then I wash it and then she doesn't need these bows today, but I wanna put them back on their bag. That's my bra. Okay. We're gonna take these and put them back on her bag because I don't want to lose those. And I just didn't have lotion on my hands when I was folding laundry. And I can't do dry hands and socks. It's not gonna happen. Oh, and she did her mopping for her Saturday chore. So, okay, we've got our two big Stanleys. We've got you, correct? She finally has a chance to give away her goodie bags, right? Okay, you gotta put your pink bow in and make sure your palms, pink palms. Right. October is Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So we do pink everything, including apparently your jacket. But you need to have your black jacket for the game. Okay, let's double check everything before we walk away. Do you ever feel you don't get out what you're putting in?
They've been so excited to do this. That was such a close game. We really came back in the fourth quarter and we were one score away from being tied. It was so close. They were on fire. You're, she's so tired. Let's go home. All right, I just called Jason um, because this teriyaki place that we go to with our friends, teriyaki, sushi, Thai, they kind of have everything. It's literally like right here by where we were at for the game and I, I was like, hey, do you want me to get that for us for dinner? Because it's, it's just clear out here. And uh, we don't get it very often. And he's like, no, I just ordered food for us like an hour ago. Because they had a really busy day. Is it right here? Oh, man. Is it right here? I thought it was in this little complex. I'm going to be so sad if I got it wrong. Oh, I might have it wrong. I guess I didn't need to be that creative on the name. It's literally called the best teriyaki and sushi. <laughs> so I'm gonna get it for me. Okay, apparently this is the best teriyaki and wok. Teriyaki. She's making fun of me because this is good food and she doesn't get it. Why we had to stop and wait five minutes when I yeah. spent hours for you her. You didn't have to, you could have gone in. Why is some... the car, why is it turned? Did you turn off the Bluetooth? Maybe. Maybe, why? Because you didn't want the car we learned that the car will do karaoke, and it was doing karaoke on the way here. So I hate that sound. It keeps turning on every time I turn the car on, right? Yeah, it's so annoying. Well, it's because you do it now for two different squads. <laughs> does it get confusing? About I wanted I wanted to ask you, does it get confusing to do two different routines to the same song? How do you know we're doing Barbie James? Because you said it. Oh yeah. You told me like I don't know a couple weeks ago. It's kind of it's confusing. Do you get into it and then you realize what one you're doing? Is it like becoming more routine with the second like, one? No, because no. like once they play it, they're like, who knows? Like we do we, we do a dance challenge and then I'm like, go out and do, do the other, other one. Dance. And I'm like, oh, <laughs> that's true. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm, as soon as you learn it really, really good, then it'll become more routine for I you. Stop what I'm like. Yeah, you also, we are what, one game away from championships? Or playoffs. Or, I, I mean, that's what I mean. We're playing for the, we're playing with the rookies and I don't think. Uh, we haven't been wi winning, so I don't know that we're going to playoffs. No, the Cubs are the ones who are like very close, but the rookies are the ones who are. Oh, okay. So maybe we're not, maybe we are. We'll see. Maybe. 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 Maybe we'll get a couple more games, but if not, we're done. Mm -hmm. And then you can kind of drop this squad and have an extra two nights a week not having practice which will be nice. you will have two days of practice i know but your other one will be less i am home i've taken ashley back down to um my kids fun center her friend invited her to go there after the game bless her mom <laughs> she's the coach um anyway she invited her to go down there because they're down there for a birthday party but <laughs> Jason, put a shirt on and come back in here. Own up to your, oh my gosh, he's <laughs> so ridiculous. It's like eight o'clock, what time is it? Yeah, it's eight o'clock. And I'm just sitting here working and I'm editing his video of um, him finding out about, out about his office. I hope I explained it well enough in the video. I haven't finished editing. Um, but uh, maybe I'll just quickly clarify, because I don't know that I did. I'll find out, but just quickly, I took over with our employee 
um, bought a whole bunch of stuff online, had it shipped to the store the day we left to go to Hawaii. The entire time we were gone, including the day we flew home where she did, she thought we were coming home the night before. Um, she's like, oh my gosh, hallelujah, I have a day to like, like make it cutesy. And that's why she had extra photos on the wall and extra little plants on the counters. Anyway, so I'm sitting here editing and we're kind of talking about that or whatever. But then Jason and I were also talking about like our plans for this weekend of like putting up Halloween decorations and Christmas lights need to go onto the house and do it before the rain hits or whatever. And this whole laundry list of things that he needs to do for tomorrow. And he walked out of this room and he was like, and he's like, okay, so I'll, I'll make, make a list. list. No, you said, okay, I will make a list. And he walked out and I said, oh great, you'll make a list. No, I'm gonna quote you. I'm gonna quote, you be quiet. Quote, okay, yeah, remind me to make a list. If that is not the most manly thing to say. Well, thanks, uh, thanks for calling me manly. Mansplaining thing no, to I say. No, I didn't anything. Remind me to make a note about making a list about all the things that I need to do for you. It's us doing things. Do do you tell me, do I tell you, remind remind me to make a list of all the things that I need to do you can't even all day long. Do I ask you to remind me to do that? There's no point to that. No, there's not because <laughs> I will create the list and I will do the I list. I make lists too, but I just... I don't remind you. I, I want you. to make a list. No, someone... I, I need to make a list. No, I'm sorry. It's just when I was standing out there, I just didn't have the motivation to do it at that moment. This, this... Oh, patriarchy crap. What patriarchy? What are you talking about? Because someone at church did this to me Whoa. and I kept asking him for something and asking him for something and, I, and he's a church leader and he, I kept asking him for something and he was like, why don't you shoot me an email to remind me to do that for you? <laughs> I said, this is the fourth time I've asked you to do this. I'm not emailing you. You can be a man and you can give me the information I've asked you. So go find your little notebook, his is really small, and go sit down at the couch with Maybe your you're laptop. Just it. I am mocking That's it. That's woman explaining it. I don't, I don't care like what it. your notebook like looks that. like. I don't <laughs> care what. The, you don't need to have stickers in it. I just need you to get your. You have a little notebook. I'm not mocking the size. No, you go just get your. Mock my list. I make lists. I have I'm not list. mocking the list. I'm mocking the fact that you asked me to remind you to make the dang list. Go get your list. I, I want to see it in your no, hand with a pen. Okay, that is not from it's, my desk. You can't late. sit. Okay, it is late. late. I'm going to so, end our video. I'm going to go chill. I haven't chilled. I haven't chilled. Put it on your list. <laughs> <laughs> Good one, hon. Good one. Good one. Good one. I have nothing. I have Love nothing. you, hon. <laughs> Are you sure you want to put it on your list? I love him. Sometimes I don't. <laughs> I'll sit in here in my loneliness. For, uh, oh, he also got mad because I was going to watch Sister Wives without him. And he literally turned off his movie and came into the room the other night to watch it with, that, with me. Because he's like, I can't handle knowing you're in there watching it without me. <laughs> we had to like discuss it while we were both watching it in, the, in person together. All right. I, I don't even know what this day has been, but... It's been long, so I'm going to end it with you guys. Take care. And, um, oh, one, one thing I will mention from the game, from Ashley. I never really had a conversation with the coaches about how the, the other football team was kind of mocking the girls and, um, when they were doing their performance a couple weeks ago. But someone else must have mentioned it. Because um, when we got to the game today, the other team was ending and they asked the other team, the cheerleaders and the football players, to take a photo together. And I thought that was such a good idea to like have the camaraderie between the two groups. Like they're there to cheer for each other and to play a game. And like, why not? So I told our coaches to do that. And they thought it was a great idea. So they did. They get the photo there at the end. Um, hopefully I'll be able to get a, a copy of it and I can insert it into the screen for you guys. Because it was really, really cute. 
but they also, our girls also asked the other cheer squad during halftime to get a photo of them together, which I just thought it was so great because I think sometimes even amongst two cheer squads during a football game, they had to be on the same side because that's just the way the stadium was. There's no point in like separating us across the field or whatever because it was covered. Um, you can have a little bit of competition between cheer groups or whatever because like they have the same cheers and so we kept having to like change our you know cheers in order to not repeat what they had just done. So there's a little competition between them but for them to have the camaraderie to give each other gifts and to take a photo together it just makes it more friendly and that's what I I worry about her take, doing cheerleading and getting into that competitive like sassy drama mode of cheerleading that has you know the stigma but I, I love that they're starting them really young to appreciate each other to be friends with each other not make it so much of a competition so I just wanted to say that and then I think that's it from today just that I just love the friendship that they had and we almost won we were so close we were so close so anyway take care and we'll see you guys next time who will pick you up when you've lost everything Does it all become for granted with a wedding?